Hey foodies, can you believe? Not a single drop of artificial color has been added. Just look at the magnificent color and perfect consistency of this Kesariya mango chutney. Think Vini Vidi Visi. We came, we saw, we devote. Mmm, delicious. And for those who have lost their appetite due to illness, this chutney promises to bring back the joy of eating. So let's dive in and make this delicious delight. We are starting with two raw mangoes. Make sure to wash them thoroughly and peel them. Now we will grate these mangoes using a grater. Remember, no peels left behind. Otherwise, it will be too sour. If you use a thick grater, the shreds will be thick and beautiful. Just like this. Grating ensures the chutney gets prepared in no time. Now we will take the golden spice of legends, saffron. Here we are taking a generous amount or generous pinch of saffron. We are going to grind it coarsely using a mortar and pestle. Remember, no need to be perfect here because we will add water to it and it will melt eventually. So just grind it coarsely like we did here and then add approximately 1 tablespoon of water to it. Grinding the saffron before adding water gives it that rich, beautiful orange red color in no time. Plus, it intensifies the flavor as well. Look at that. Gorgeous, isn't it? Now keep it aside. Next, in 2 tablespoons of black mustard oil, we added 1 4 teaspoon of mustard seeds and 2 dry red chilies. Once the mustard seeds stopped popping, we added our grated mangoes. It's time to stir well till the mangoes gets a bit soft. Please remember that we will make this whole recipe in low to very low flame because chutneys get burnt easily if we put them in high flame. Now we added half cup of water and half cup of sugar. The amount of sugar will depend on how sour your mangoes are. So again after stirring for 1 minute, we are adding approximately half, half teaspoon of black salt. You, will, you can add black salt according to your taste. Stir it well and then put the lid on. We will wait for 3 to 4 minutes till the gravy thickens. Here we just opened the lid and checked it's not thickened yet. So put the lid back on and wait for 2 more minutes. And perfect. We have got the required consistency. Semi thick. Remember it will thicken more once it cools. Now add the saffron water and mix well. The golden hue spreads like a sunrise lifting our spirits. We will stir for 1 to 2 minutes till again the gravy gets a thick consistency. Raw mango and saffron combined together is a heavenly combination. Trust me, you are going to love it. So let's take it out and serve it up. Look at that color, that texture. It's not just a dish, it's a masterpiece. How was my poetry? Horrible, right? But this chutney is divine. Serve this with garma garam luchi or puri or just enjoy it after a scrum taste meal. Hit that like button, share with your friends and subscribe for more delicious recipes. Until next time, keep that magic alive in your kitchen. Bye.